What is up YouTube, how's everybody doing today? This is Everything is Tech here from EverythingIsTech.com and in this video I have my comparison of the Canon T3 and the Nikon D3100. So let me just go ahead and start off by saying that both cameras are great entry level DSLR cameras. You're going to be satisfied with both the cameras by the end whenever you go ahead and purchase one. So it doesn't matter which camera you choose but in this video I'm just going to go ahead and try to give my personal opinions on both cameras and compare the features and so I'm going to have 10 rounds where I compare almost all the features of the cameras and to see which one comes out on top. Let's go ahead and get right into this video. So in round one, I would like to talk about the build quality of both the cameras. So let's go ahead and take a look at the D3100's build quality. The really good thing I like about this is that it is, although it's plastic, it has some nice rough and thick plastic to it. So in that case, it feels good in your hands and it doesn't feel like it will break if it slips from your hands. Now the other good thing I like about the build quality on the D3100 is the rubber grips that are around the camera which makes it simpler to hold the camera and honestly it makes it feel a lot comfortable in your hand whenever you try to take pictures or videos. On the other hand you have the Canon T3's build quality which isn't as great as the D3100's. In my opinion the plastic that the T3 is made out of does feel a little bit cheaply made and unfortunately there are no rubber grips that hold the T3 so when you go ahead and start using the camera for a long duration of time it might feel a little bit uncomfortable but eventually as time goes on you will find yourself adjusting to the T3 but for this round I would have to give the build quality to the Nikon D3100. So in this round we're going to be talking about the specs of both the cameras so let's go ahead and start off with the Canon T3 first. The T3 does have a 12.2 megapixel camera which does take video at 720p at the rate of 30 frames per second. On the other hand, we have the Nikon D3100, which is a 14.2 megapixel camera and is capable of taking 1080p video at the rate of 24 frames per second. So in round two, which is all about the specs, this round does go to the Nikon D3100 as well. Rounds three and four will be grouped together because they're pretty much coincide with each other. Round three is about the actual interface of the camera and round four is about the button placement and I do think they coincide together. As far as the interface goes on the Nikon D3100, I'm not a big fan of the interface because for me personally, I feel that the interface is a slightly laggy and not only that, but I just find it to be a little bit too cluttered. Like if you go ahead and take a look at the menu, it, you know, all the options you have are on the side and you have to just go ahead and click on the navigation to go down the options and then you can go down the actual menus for that specific option and for me I don't like the interface of the D3100 because I just I kind of think it's not as simple as it could be as compared to another interface of a camera now looking at the button placement I'm also not a big fan of the button placement on the D3100 because it's all cluttered around the camera you have some buttons on the side of the LCD screen you have buttons on the other side of the LCD screen you have buttons on top of the camera and you have buttons on by towards the lens placement where you put the lens in and honestly for me I think it's all cluttered around and you don't have all the buttons together which kind of might get a little bit confusing when you first start using the actual camera. Now on the other hand we have the Canon T3's interface which I really like a lot more than the Nikon D3100's for several reasons. Now if you go ahead and click the menu button you go or or into the menu and all the way on the top you have four different colors which indicates different little things. Now if you go ahead and take a look at the red menus they actually tell you that if you go ahead and click on either one of those four camera menus I guess it allows you to actually change something about the camera related if you go ahead and click on the two blue options you're going to change something about how to view your photos if you go ahead and click on either one of those three orange or yellow menus you're going to be able to change something with the camera's photo taking features and then on the all the way in the end you have the green one which allows you to change something with the menu and honestly I think the interface on the camera of the T3 is a lot simple to use it's easy and the interface is one of the biggest reasons I recommend the T3 to anyone who wants to buy a DSLR camera. Also I like the button placement on the T3 because you have all your buttons pretty much in one whole side of the camera which also makes it a lot easier to get to them and makes them a little less confusing in my opinion because you have them all together and you don't have to keep looking around the camera for any additional buttons and it gives you a one whole place to access all your buttons and all your features about the or on the camera so 
the round three and four will both go to the Canon T3. So in round five, we're gonna be discussing the video quality of both the cameras. And this is a really quick review. Both cameras do take HD video. The Canon T3 takes 720p video at a rate of 30 frames per second, whereas the Nikon takes a 1080p video of uh, 24 frames per second. And honestly, both the quality on the video for both the cameras are fantastic. Because we're judging the video quality of both cameras, I'd have to give this round to the D3100. The only reason I'm a little bit sad for, as far as the video on the D3100 goes is because it makes a lot of noise when you're trying to automatically zoom, or not even zoom, but just focus on a different topic or subject. So if you guys heard that shutter speed, that was pretty much the camera focusing on the different subject. And that really does make a lot of noise when you're in, taking a video. So that is the, really the only bad part about the video on the D3100 but as far as this round goes on the video quality I'd have to give this to the D3100. So this round is about the flash for both the cameras and this round will definitely be a tie in my opinion mainly because although the Canon T3's flash is a lot softer and it helps in low light situations I think the D3100's flash is a lot softer than the T3 which actually looks better in most photos when you use a flash with the D3100 but the T3's flash is a lot stronger, which helps in better low light performance. So for the flash round, I'd have to give this down to a tie to both the cameras. And here is also a photo, if you aren't looking at it right now, it's a small photo I've taken on the same subject with, I think, almost the same focal length, and it shows how well the flash performs on both photos. Now, photo quality is probably one of the biggest things most people wonder when they buy a camera. And honestly, I think both these cameras take wonderful photos and all the photos you're looking at right now have been taken with the default 18 to 55 millimeter lens kit with the auto setting on the camera. So pretty much just point of the camera and shot at the subject and that's what you get with these pictures. And I didn't want to get too complicated with the photos. I just wanted to show all you guys how the cameras perform with you just using the auto function mode. And then again, you can probably when you buy the camera, you can start, you know, using the different types of modes, manual mode to shoot your photos. But these are just how the photos came out with the auto feature of the camera. And I think, honestly, it's really hard to determine which photos are better. I mean, sometimes you can clearly say which camera did a better job of taking the photo. But other times, it's a really, really small difference that really doesn't even matter. So honestly, for this round, round 7, the photo quality, I have to give this a tie for both the cameras. In round 8, we're going to be talking about the viewfinder of both the cameras, and honestly, I think I have to get this round to the T3 because the T3's viewfinder is a lot easier to use and it's a lot quicker to navigate through. If you go ahead and look at the T3's viewfinder, all you have to do to change the focus depth or the focus level is have your thumb on a button and then you have to have your index button just scrolling down the wheel and you can change the whole depth of focus and the whole level of focus. On the Nikon D3100, you actually have to have your left finger or your, not your left finger, but your left hand, a finger from your left hand holding out a button, and then you have to use your other hand and a finger from your other hand to doubt, use the navigation keys to change the level of focus. So in the end, it takes a longer time to change the focus on the Nikon D3100, whereas on the Canon T3, it's quick and it's really simple. So that's why I have to give the T3 a, to say that it has a better viewfinder than the D3100. We finally made it to round 9 and we're almost done with the video but so far both the cameras are at a tie. Both cameras have 5 points right now each. And this section or this round, round 9, is all about the LCD screen. Now honestly it comes down to personal preference on which LCD screen you'd like. And most people like a larger LCD screen better and others like a more sharper and clear LCD screen better. So the Canon T3 has a 2.5 inch LCD screen but it's really sharp, it's really clear, and I think the Canon T3 has a lot more sharper image on the LCD screen than on the D3100. On the other hand, the D3100 has a 3 inch LCD screen, which also looks really nice and magnificent, but I don't think it's as clear as the Canon T3's 
LCD screen. So for this round, I have to give both the cameras a tie on the LCD screen. So we finally made it to the final round in this video in round 10. In round 10, only one camera is going to come out on top. Round 10 is about how easy it is to use either one of the cameras and the main reason I put this part in the whole video is so that people know that both these cameras are entry level DSLR cameras first of all so eventually people are going to start making a transition from digital cameras to SLR cameras and if an SLR camera seems confusing at first people are going to get discouraged so the main reason for me putting this part in the video is to show that which camera is easier to start using and getting into photography or SLR photography. And the winner of this round is going to be the Canon T3. Now the reason I go ahead with the T3 is because I find the T3 a lot easier to use than the D3100. My first SLR camera I actually ever had was the D3100 and after using the D3100 for a few days I really just thought it was a really big transition from my cool picks to my d3100 and my cool picks was a l110 and i found it to be a really big transition so i went ahead and looked at the canon t3 back in the day when it was about 650 bucks and both the cameras were pretty much the same price and when i went ahead and got the t3 i found it a lot easier to adjust from going from a digital camera to a low end slr camera so that's why i say the t3 is easier to use. Now the reason I chose the Canon T3 over the D3100 is because I think the T3 is easier to adjust to if you come from using digital cameras and I like the interface on the T3 a lot better than on the D3100. I find it the T3 easier to use and it really does help when you come from a regular digital camera to use and when you start using SLR cameras. But in the end of the day, don't get me wrong, both cameras are great cameras. It doesn't matter which camera you choose. In the end, you're going to start taking great photos from both the cameras, and you're going to start learning from both the cameras as well. And again, it really just depends on personal preference and which one you like better. If you're up for a challenge, if you want to make a little bit more of a challenge learning how to use a Nikon, I mean, I guess that's your choice. But in my opinion, I think the T3 is just a little bit better than the D3100. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is my comparison. If you want to watch the review, on the t3 go ahead and click on the t3 right now on the video and you'll be taken to the review and i'll have my d3100 nikon review really shortly so thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video i want to say thank you to all my subscribers and all the people who watch my videos thank you for all the support and i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching peace